if you're looking for a half bag of charcoal briquettes or an artificial Christmas tree, trunk only, come on over to the Hibbert table, pronto. Well, sir, looks like we got some nice items here at Table Glick, like this. What the heck a Rooney is this, Mrs. Glick? It is a candy dish, Ned. Ninety dollars. Uh-huh. Well, I, uh, I guess you could put a lot of nice things in there. No, just candy, Ned. Ninety dollars. Well, looks like somebody sold something today. Are you interested in that motorized tie rack, Principal Skinner? Mm, it's awfully loud. Well, you can always take the motor out and use it as an ordinary tie rack. <laughs> but now the ties are motionless. Nose and back are virtually inaccessible. Well, it's a moot point as I have only one tie to begin with. I believe I'll pass. Have you sold that tie rack yet? No. I'll take it. Now, folks, nothing spells fun like rhinestones on a dungaree jacket. Stu, you should buy that. Hey, Disco Stu doesn't advertise. Uh, hey, Ned, let me help you with that. Hey, everybody, who thinks Flanders should shut up? <laughs> so, anyone here from Evergreen Terrace? I think this is the best neighborhood in town. Anybody agree with me? Yeah! Yeah, you're the king, how about King of the neighborhood. Say, that Ayatollah thinks he's better than America. Is he right? No! Yes. Well, for only $5, you could sock it to him in style. Right here. And for the man who has everything, a tie rack motor. I'll take that. Hey, big spender, dig this blender, rainbow suspenders. Hey, big spender, we surrender. Spend some dough at table three. <laughs> thank you, neighbors, thank you. Now let's give it up. For table five! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, table five, table five, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, table five! Table five, table five. Hey, what's the big deal? It's just some new guy moving in. <coughs> disco stew likes disco music. Hi there, neighbors. Uh, I'm George Bush, former President George Bush. Oh, oh. Okay, let's give it up for the new guy. Now let's all turn around and pay attention to me again. Hello? 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 Wow, a former president living right across the street. Oh, why did he have to move in on my territory? Look at him. Thinks just because he led the free world, he can act like a big shot. Stupid president. Why couldn't he just stay in his own state? Actually, this is one of the nine states where Mr. Bush claims residency, Dad. I wouldn't have voted for him, but it's nice to have a celebrity in the neighborhood. Wait a minute. If Lisa didn't vote for him, and I didn't vote for him... You didn't vote for anybody. I voted for Prell to go back to the old glass bottle. After that, I became deeply cynical. And your business here, Mr. Flanders? Well, sir, I'm, I'm welcoming the Bushes on behalf of the Neighborhood Association. Well, never mind about that, right? Just give them a quick pass with a metal detector and let them on in. Hey, Bar, the neighbors are here. <laughs> Howdy doodly there, President Bush. Or should I say President Neighbor? I'm Ned Flanders, and this is Maud, Rod, and Todd. Well, Howdy doodly yourself there, Ned. This is my wife, Barbara. Call her Bar. Would you like some lemonade? Tip top notch. Oakley dokley. Thankily dankily. Great delicious. Scrub doodly terrific. Fine, Fine and dandy, dandy like sour candy. candy. 